Go. Good morning. Uh, as you recall, we had a discussion last week about what we might call one another in this city. We had a few suggestions, not very many, but as I thought about it this morning, I thought I certainly know what to call the individuals who are listening to us this morning, and that's friends and neighbors. Grateful to be here with you. I want to start by giving a thank you to our firefighters. I think most of you are aware that over the last month, two months actually, they've had a lot of firefighting to do. We've had some real sacrifice by our firefighters to take care of the things that they've had to do, and they've, they've certainly done a wonderful job of keeping particularly that uh, Arban Valley fire out of our community. They also wanted me to make sure and say thank you to the community, the way they got behind them. They had many individuals and organizations who brought food and water to them, and they wanted me to express gratitude for that. So it's good to work together as a community to get these things taken care of. Tonight will be our very last movie in the park at Stewart Park. It will be Finding Dory. Tooth Town Dentistry for Kids is the sponsor. They tell us that they'll have goldfish crackers and water for us, and that movie should start about dusk. Also tonight, at the Porton of Wellness Complex, the amphitheater there, the piano guys are gonna be there. They're uh, scheduled to start at eight o'clock, and that should be a lot of fun. Those of you who can come up to that, come up and enjoy that. Tomorrow is going to be the back to school, school supply giveaway. That venue also has changed. It's been in the city of Chubbuck out to our north boundary. And they've changed and this year they're gonna be up at the Mountain View Events Center. That's gonna take place from 10 until one o'clock. So those of you who have needs for school supplies, come and participate with that. This is the weekend of the eclipse. Uh, hopefully you've had the opportunity to make some preparations for that, but as we come into this weekend, I would just su suggest to each of us a couple of things to make sure as you do some traveling that you have some patience in your travel. Make sure and keep safety in mind. Uh, there are a lot of uh, suggestions for what you can do to make sure that you're properly prepared, and I would just suggest that at this point, it's going to happen this coming Monday. Uh, just enjoy the experience. It should be wonderful. We also wanted to make sure that you knew that we will not have the offices closed that day and garbage collection will take place that day also. So make sure and have your garbage out this coming Monday. Country Acres is well underway now with the replacement of streets. If you've been over to the Cotant Park, you've seen that they've got the streets milled and they're starting to uh, level that and prepare it for new pavement. It's good to see that happening. Just wanted to say quickly, we've had some concern about how uh, quickly or lack of quickly we've gotten on that project. I want to make sure that people recognize that this was always intended to be a two-year project and the folks who are doing that project have committed to make sure and get enough done this year so that they can get it completed in the next building season of 2018. Originally it was scheduled to start in 2018 but we were able to get it started this year with a hopefulness of completing it uh, during the 2018 season. You all have probably heard by now that the interchange up at the North Gate uh, or Siphon, whichever you know it as, is going to happen. This week, all of the entities, I believe there are six different entities that needed to sign that agreement, they've all signed it. Yesterday, uh, the Idaho Transportation Department signed it, and that makes that official. I hope you had the opportunity, and if you hadn't, I'd encourage you to, to read the article in the journal about it yesterday. That really does say what's coming. It should be exciting to all of us. Now, interestingly, I did want to say this. That is just one of the developers. The Millennial Group is just one of the developers that will be working with this project. There are a couple of other developers and other landowners who have expressed interest in being involved, and I think the growth that you have that you have seen and can read about in that article is even bigger when you recognize that there are many other entities that want to get involved. The thing we need to remember is this is going to provide some real opportunities for economic development and for growth in our communities. And we've been working at this for a long time. So I hope we recognize the blessing that it's been, the work that it's taken to get it to this place, and then during the next couple of years as this uh, starts to develop, recognize the great opportunities that are going to bring to us. We recognize mainly it's going to bring the opportunity for some, some wonderful paying jobs from what we're hearing and also some, some retail and, and commercial type development that will be a, a, a real big deal to our area. So that's what I had for you this week. Have a great week and we'll see you next Friday.